Let's begin by talking about how to use these videos most effectively. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is download the four practice new SATs. They'll be on this page. They'll also be on an earlier section of the course, which is gonna have the materials and resources, but you can download them on this page if you haven't already. I recommend printing the tests out. Now you're gonna use these tests not only for math, but also for reading and for writing. And when I talk in those series about the tests, I'm gonna tell you to print it out because you really wanna do these tests on paper because you wanna simulate the testing experience as best you can. So print them out so that when you do the practice test, you can do them on paper with a pencil and make it as accurate as possible. Each video in the lecture section of the videos is gonna feature problems written by me. They're based on real SAT questions. And the general rule is always try the problems yourself first before watching my solutions. So just simply watching me work through those sample problems isn't gonna be as effective as if you tried the problems yourself first and then compare your answer and approach to mine. These problems will be available on each of the pages right before the video. So you can see the problems, try them yourself first, and then watch the video. Uh, calculator is okay on all these questions. We're not really worrying right now about dealing with no calculator or yes calculator. It's just trying to understand concepts and ideas. So you can use the calculator on any of those questions. The general procedure for going through this course, you should watch the introduction videos. That's what you're watching right now. This is the first of the introduction videos. Then work through the lecture videos. This is where I go through all the specific topics that are covered in the math test. Uh, and again, doing the problem as I, problems as I described above. Finally, then you wanna do each practice test timed. So you might wanna combine this with working on the other sections, the reading and the writing. You know, Wait until you finish all the lecture videos of the reading and the writing tests, and then go ahead and do the full practice test. And then once you've done the full practice test, then you could watch the solutions in the test solutions videos. That's the third part of the course where I work through all the problems of those four tests. And in general, Taking notes is highly recommended. So you don't want to just sit there and watch me. You want to be active. So take notes, write stuff down, write down questions, comments uh, that you can ask me later. But really, you want to digest this material so that you'll be best prepared to uh, do the questions later. All right, let's move on to the next video.